a real local. He is from Cartagena. He will lead us around. He will give us all the insider tips which you don't find in TripAdvisor or whatever homepage or blog because he's a local and he knows the stuff. We're here at the main entrance, Torre de Eloch, the gate of the watch. And that's the starting point to get into the historic part of Cartagena. So let's go. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a Cartagena. Vamos a hacer un recorrido muy especial. So it will be very interesting because we'll have a bilingual production on one side. We have his YouTube channel, which is... Uh, what's, what's the name of your YouTube channel? Juan Camilo Ochoa. <laughs> Juan Camilo Ochoa. You will, see, acá. you will see here. <laughs> so we'll have a co-production, English, Spanish. It will be very interesting. So let's go. From the main entrance, we took a left, and that's actually a cool place where we're going to uh, because on this corner over there, there's a cool outdoor bar. During the night, it's perfectly for a beer because you can have a cold beer in a fresh breeze and you see everybody walking by, and that's just superb. I'm sure you know that place a little better, so what can you tell us about? This one here on the corner with all the este sweet stuff. This is the Portal de los Dulces. Let's, let's try to. Okay. Portal de los Dulces. This is the Portal de los Dulces, la primera para de este vlog. So, the best sweets from the region you find here on this spot. Uh, yeah, you see a lot of uh, jars with colored food inside. So, from my experience, when you eat sweets on the Caribbean coast, it's so sweet, you feel like you are eating pure sugar. So, it's, <laughs> sorry, it's not too much uh, my food, but uh, you should try it. It's a very interesting uh, experience. This is a beautiful square uh, with a beautiful church and some art around. So, the church, what's the name of the church? Iglesia Santo Domingo. So the church is called Santo Domingo and it looks very beautiful from the outside and from the inside. Have you ever been inside? Si. Sí. Sí, sí, claro. Is it beautiful? Very beautiful. Uh, what is very interesting I have to show you this here. That's very cool. So I do it this way. In this you can see it. So this is like art. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, so I see at least nine of them. That's cool stuff. And then you have also a restaurant here around, uh, which is currently empty because during the day it's so hot. So nobody, so nobody wants to sit outside and drink a beer. Uh, but later on, everything will fill up a lot. <laughs> so today, there's football. Colombia against Qatar. So everybody dresses in yellow with a yellow football shirt. So this is Park Bolivar of Cartagena. And you might have seen in intros or other videos of ours or other videos of people coming to Cartagena that you have this performance group dancing, like very sexy stuff in costumes, and that was actually here. And I knew those guys, um, and they had their performance every night and made their money. And it was a social project because they uh, teach kids to dance, to play music. And then somehow, someday, the police said, mm, no more, no more performance, no more making money, no more entertaining tourists. So in the Easter week, during Easter week, they have here exhibition of the suites with all those uh, traditional dressed ladies, with all those traditional dressed black ladies. So it's a huge sweets festival here on the plaza during Easter week. But right now it smells a lot of pee, so I think we go, <laughs> go, we leave. <laughs> it smells terrible. <laughs> 
So now we go to a very cool coffee. One of my favorites actually in Cartagena and not only because the coffee is delicious, but it's also a library, which is uh, a very good combination, I think. And it's called Abaco Café. Café Gourmet San Maria. Vamos a entrar? Yeah. Sí, es verdad. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Vas a bailar conmigo? Sí. DJ, salsa. Hola. Vamos a bailar. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. 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 Muchas gracias. So, that's the coffee, which is really cool. So, you see, it's actually a library. Sí. 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 Uh, tons of books, tons of books. So cool. You can sit inside, it's uh, air conditioned, which is good because uh, too, in Catechina, it's just too hot. And yeah, I can see the, they're singing a hymn because they will be playing soon. And for later, I have a date with my new friend to spend salsa. So if you come here, you can. ¿Cómo te llamas? Angela. Angela. Frank. Frank. So here you can dance salsa with Angela every night at eight here in the entrance. <laughs> and now we had our good coffee and we have an urgency. We have an emergency because Colombia is playing against Qatar football. It's a very important situation. So we almost have to run to watch the game and let's see what we're going to see. Um, he said there's a cool place in Cartagena to watch the game. And uh, yeah, hopefully Colombia will win. I said it will be 10-0. Um, so he said 10-0 never. And I say it's possible. 10-0 for Colombia against Qatar. Who's Qatar anyway? Hola bien? Hola bien? Hola. Hola. So, some funny people on the way, on the road. There are only little people around because everybody is watching football. Football is probably the most important event in Colombia. So, we're going to Bourbon Street. Ah! So there's no free table, but as I said, it doesn't matter, we don't need the table, we just need football, beer and love. Love, yeah, love. go ahead, go ahead. So we went to watch the football game in uh, what's the name of the bar? Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Oh, like Bourbon Street in. Uh, oh, what's the American city? New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. And there were no emotions. Everybody was like quiet, drinking beer, and it was so uh, not Colombian experience. So after five minutes. We decided to leave. Continue our uh, walk through the city. Hola, mi, Hola, mi linda. ¿Qué Excelente. Nada, y tú? Hoy tampoco vas a comprar. No, hoy estoy muy ocupado. Mira, estoy grabando para los extranjeros que vengan aquí a Colombia. So we're talking about dancing, and I, uh, I just bye. told her she actually should dance with the foreigners. Vallenato. Vallenato. Eh, salsa. Merengue. Eh, champeta. 
Porro. So I learned something new. Vallenato, it's not just in uh, Valle du Pao, it's in another video, but also here they dance Vallenato. It's with the accordion. <laughs> it's very cool music, actually. So now they start singing in the church, better we had it off. Uh, and I have another appointment for dancing salsa. Se llama Donde Fidel. Okay. Donde Fidel. Donde Fidel. Donde Fidel. Donde Fidel is the place to dance salsa in Cartagena. Exactamente. So he just explained in Getsemani, uh, that's actually the place that they've developed the most in the recent years. It became uh, the party and hotspot. It's not the traditional city center. For the younger and wilder people, it's Getsemani. So you have Havana bar there, you have some hostels there. And that's what, that's actually the place where I stayed 2009 in, uh, I think, the De Luna hostel, something like that. This exists forever. And this is also the place where all the ladies were. Uh, not, not anymore, not too much. And you have also all the restaurants in Getsemani or on the cheaper side. You have stylish, cool stuff, inventions. Hola! And uh, so it's actually a good alternative. Getsemani, uh, you go out the main door, the Torre de Relo, and then you walk through the park, and then you arrive in Getsemani. 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 Okay. So this is the way to get to Gama. It's a uh, mani. So you can see there's the Torre de Reloj. And here we have this park. And we go right through the park into Get Semani. And here in the park you have that's new, I didn't see that before, sometimes with the Artisanal stuff, they sell even wine. Really interesting. Who drinks red wine in that temperature? Me not. And we have funny people walking around here. So you can buy a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Only in the, only during that period they have their pants here and they sell the stuff. In this place here, they, the people sometimes come gather together and they, they tell fairy tales, stories about Cartagena and the region. And you see, you have street vendors all over, all over. Everybody, say, everybody tries to sell you something, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. door is open. So, it can get annoying with the time. So, okay, get your money. And you see it, just crossing the street. And you will see the difference right away. So many colors. Get your money, here we go. So, let's do it like this. Over my shoulder, in case you can see it. So, okay, Tony, much younger, much wilder, much more party, different restaurants, much more locals, many more. Here again, football. So, and now we are coming to the main street of Getsemani. So, what you see here is actually the many, many more backpackers and young people. And you have more street food, you have more uh, little shops, you have... Uh, it's much more unregulated than in the pretty old town. Of course, it's not so expensive also, it's not so beautiful, not so historical. Although it's also part from the historic town. Because the, the part of the wall is further away, so it's still within the protected area. 
So, um, you have here Havana. Havana is very famous, it's great for dancing. And it's a cute bar, good music, good salsa, and a great place to hang out. Then, Media Luna, ah, the host where I was in 2009. I have Terrace. So, this is kind of the party mile of the backpackers. And uh, you get beer everywhere, it's a big chaos, and uh, a bit dirty, and you have those. Uh, Tourists with uh, with uh, funny shirts like just here. So depending on you, if this is the kind of tourist you want to meet in your during your holidays or not. So I think we should continue because there's a a nice square over there. La Plaza de la Trinidad. Plaza de la Trinidad over Plaza there. De la Trinidad we'll Getsemane. go there. Plaza de la Trinidad, Getsemane. It's perfect in the night because you can have a beer, uh, sit there and it's very tilt to hang around and watch people, talking to people, making friends, doing nothing. Ah, okay. Nice, you have a parking and they have lots of art. Many pictures. That's interesting. Last time I was here, it's just uh, like six months and it changed a lot. It's very different than the last time I came. Yeah, tourism, it's uh, incredible in Colombia. It's so evolving. And cities like Atacena and Bogota and Medellin, like the hotspots of tourism, they, within months, they change completely. Plaza de la... Santissima Trinidad. So that's actually a cool place to hang out in the night, having a beer, because you have a breeze. Oh, it's good, it feels good. And you have those colored houses which are very beautiful and then you can take a selfie with him. So this is Lucho, maybe. Si tú dices antes había como un poco de, digamos, de temor por venir acá, o sea, no era un lugar tan seguro. So like 15 years ago, this wasn't a popular place and it was quite unsafe. So if you came here, yeah, it was just, especially as a foreigner, it was not a good idea to come here. You can have, it was a dangerous place actually. So yeah, Getsemane is really in a transformation process and a good alternative to the walled city. Um, not only they have uh, lots of good restaurants opening and a lot of cool stuff uh, going on, but also uh, I think the Four Seasons is opening their new hotel they're constructing now in uh, Getsemane. Uh, they told us last time uh, when we had the business meeting in Bogota. So what's very trendy here in Getsemane is also to, to convert those beautiful historic uh, houses uh, into boutique hotels where you have your pool, you have your room, but it's very familiar, it's very small and very boutique. And this is actually what is happening now, that uh, more and more hotels open here in this area and it's uh, very boutique-like. So we are walking now uh, further into Getsemane and this is actually a very beautiful street because you have all those tiny colonial houses and the funny thing is in Bogota everything is closed they have the fences and the protection and here everything is open people leave their houses all open and it's just everything is so inviting but I think it's because of the heat that looks a very, like a very nice street. We should go in here. Yeah, that's like the selfie street where the tourists come and they take the photos. But we don't need to take a photo because we're making a video. <laughs> So that's the street with umbrellas. Very beautiful.
So actually, yeah, you should. What I really can recommend you walk around in Kete Mani um, because you have like so many things popping up and beautiful restaurants or little art studios. You have street art uh, on this plaza, on this square. Actually, you see here again. You you have you have some cool stuff going on. Um, I would say they were drinking aguardiente <laughs> and uh, no everywhere else. here in this uh, in this area it's very interesting you don't need to be in the in the pure historic town but in this extension it's actually wonderful it's totally different and totally safe too so I just got invited to to this beautiful place and he said Come on in, there's a fantastic garden, it's beautiful. So, you see, that's in Getsemani. And, uh, oh, look, let's go look at this restaurant. This is just, a, this ceiling, it's like, I know. Again, six meters, and very cool. And now, oh, look at this garden, that's just fantastic. This is typical symbol of an entrepreneur. Uh, of an owner who takes care, who has an idea, who has a vision, who wants to make something, create something unique, a business which a business which has their handwriting. So here you have no roof, you actually can close it and it's just a wonderful garden and somebody here was very thirsty because there are many wine bottles as you can see so i will ask the owner if he drank all that wine that's a very cool place well we are in case and uh, i'm here in a fantastic place it's a little paradise a little oasis in case and i just uh, was uh, welcomed in by the owner. So, who are you and what you're doing actually here? At this restaurant is the name is the La, the Indias Las Indias Boutique Gourmet. Why the, the the route of Caleon of boat when come back to Spain the route uh -huh. this is Las Indias. Uh -huh. uh, I think the the Getsemani is the the, the place is authentic original mm. because the three generation live in. So, in this neighborhood, uh, you have still families, uh, different generation living, yes. and they have still their original businesses. Yes. But also, the neighborhood is changing. You have more restaurants and more no, hotels. No, the, the people live all time in Getsemani. Yeah. This is the this is natural people because the people you you speak with the people speak with explain my father, my grandfather explain all life. This is a, a center. I think uh, Getsemani, I think it's not a meeting point of the people. In terms of clients, uh, Getsemani is a little bit, it's, it's a little walk from the walled city. So in terms of clients, what type of clients you receive here for dinner? <laughs> Is it like more backpackers or more the people with money? No, or? no, no, no. I, I, no. The Who, who's that, coming? Here? How, how many? How many people? The all kinds. Everybody. Oh, yes. Of course. Uh, the question is when you, when when the people uh, stay in the in the high hostel or high hotel, like, come back, come like back. Casa San Agustin. Uh, no, Santa Clara. Santa. Sofitel. Sofitel. Yeah. Sofitel. Yeah. Sofitel. Yeah. The people come back. Recently. I work and I. I I eat this restaurant. Wonderful. Yes, it's so, open all the time. We invite you to come here to have dinner. You're open for lunch and dinner or just dinner? Yeah, no, uh, every day every day is made a special lunch of the day. Yeah. Because it's Caribbean food. Yeah. Yeah, every day is made one lunch different. Ah, in the time. It's like catch of the day. Yes, of course. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> So, I want to show you the beach. I just arrived to Boca Grande. This is the part of uh, Cartagena. Over there you have the walled city. 
the historic town. And this here is the skyline you see from there. So you see you have all those high buildings. And this is what I told you about. Uh, very local beach. So you have brown sand, which is fine, but not like the, the best. And then you have everybody. Uh, so yeah, that's what you will find here. Uh, women who are asking to give you a massage. And uh, massage, massage, yeah, like in Thailand. Uh, but in Thailand, massages are really good. Here, <laughs> um, nah, no comment. You have kind of sections between, uh, separated with stones. You see? So next section. And uh, you can go here actually and enjoy the beach. And it's not too bad. And you have also some houses where they sell beer and stuff. And the thing is, they always identify me as a foreigner and they want to sell me stuff. Colombia, very good. Viva Colombia. Viva Colombia. Viva Colombia. And the next one. So it's perfect walk here because like this you can see. Para mi color, muy blanquito. Si, yo soy un queso. Tu moro. Hello. <laughs> you see, you see, you stretch out a finger and they grab all your arm. And uh, I'm full with some ugly sauce on my arm. Look, look at this. I'm, I don't know what that is. So this is what happens to foreigners when you walk down Boca Grande. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is just too much and uh, yeah it's quite long the whole beach and I think somebody is following me and he's yelling um, so the good thing is I have very long legs and I've been and I spent two years in the military and I can walk very fast with this combination so the little Colombians from the coast usually cannot walk that fast so it's a good way to get rid of them. <laughs> so actually I'm looking now for a place where I can kick off my drone because I'm going to uh, fly here a little bit. That's so ugly. Uh. So um, here in Boga you have, it's very modern. So you have apartment buildings, you have lots of hotels, you have Oh, oh, what's the name? Uh, the, the new tower we built some two years ago. Like with three, four terraces, different, different uh, pools. Hyatt, the Hyatt. Oh, that's a great hotel. It's modern, and so I'm not sure if you come to. Um, hello. If you come to Cartagena, if you want to stay in the Hyatt, it's more like a business and a meeting a convention hotel. Uh, but the view you get and it's, it's brand new so that's cool but usually for tourists I really recommend them to stay in the old part in the historic town it's much cooler so that's one of the other beach options you have in Cartagena La Boquilla it's a 20 minutes taxi ride costs you 20,000 pesos or you can take a bus and this beach actually is not so bad because it's huge. It goes on for kilometers. So if you want to go running and doing some, some sports, that's actually a perfect place. You have here different hotels, uh, big chains also. So this is like for people who want to have their beach right in front of them. It's brown sand, so it's not so beautiful. But the cool thing is the beach is quite big and so long and as I said when I did kite surfing here uh, June is a perfect month actually to do some kite surfing uh, there were some uh, jellyfish I didn't like that too much you can do uh, kite surfing you can run along the beach which is great also you can drive on the beach with your car and also what to say compared to other beaches you have beach sellers but not that many, so you're more left in peace than uh, Boca Grande and you can rent those tents all, all along and it's quiet, there are not that many people, it's not that packed it's much quieter and there's some uh, onshore wind which is uh, comfortable 
So if you want to do kitesurf. So there's down the beach, there's a kitesurf school, I think it's owned, I don't know, I don't remember the name. It's owned by a, a Swiss and the head instructor, his name is Alex and he's a crazy guy, but he's fucking good. Thanks for watching this video. I say goodbye with those last fantastic impressions. If you like that video, please give me a like. Write any comments you like. If you have other experiences from Colombia, tell me. Uh, if you know somebody who wants to travel to Colombia, tell him about our channel. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for existing <laughs> I say goodbye from Cartagena and all the best see you next time bye bye